Okay. So I'm now going to install Catadapt using Conda. So I'll first create an environment and then I will install Catadapt in that environment. So I'm going to say Conda create and I'll say dash n and I'll indicate the environment name. So I'll use QC like this. And then I'll also specify the channel. So I'll say dash C by Conda. You can also add dash C Conda watch. You can also add dash C defaults. All right, just to be safe. All right. So that's how we are going to do it. We are going to specify the tool in this case that adapts like this. And we are going to execute this command. So if you don't have Conda and you have Mamba, then you have to come to this side and then change to Mamba. Or if you have Micro Mamba, then you just have to use Micro Mamba like this. So any of these should work for you. But I'll use Conda because that is what I have installed on my system now. So this is going to be the final command. So let's execute this command. And take note that if you are using Conda, then the time it takes to install or to resolve the environment will be, it can take some time, that's what I'll say, but you'll be fine. So let's proceed. Okay. So now I'm going to type Y to confirm, then I will hit the enter button. So Conda will download all the necessary packages, install and configure them for me. So I'll have to wait for everything to get done. Okay. That adapt has been installed. So if everything is okay, then you will see this message coming up. So there's instructions for activating and deactivating the environment. I repeat. There are instructions for activating and deactivating the environment. So if you want to use cut adapt, you need to first activate the environment. So we have to do this. So let's just do that. Then let's clear the screen. And then let's activate the environment. So I'm going to say Conda activate QC. This is the name of the environment I used. All right, that has been done. So once it's done, you can just test cut adapt. So you can say cut adapt. And then you get something like this coming up. Of course, there's an error message because we didn't specify any inputs and then any options. So this is fine. So that's what we need to 